Hey, Christine here. Just come home from a beautiful walk in the sunshine. Just thinking about some ideas around belief and just keeping your head in the game and really just being able to keep believing. You know, this is a big thing for me, the journey that I'm on. It's it's so important that my I keep my belief levels high in what I'm doing. And the three things that just popped into my head, I thought I'd just do a quick share. And that is, um, first of all, not getting sucked into the, the you know, the negative self-talk which is huge, you know, because it's always going to be there. So you need to learn to recognize it and just bat it out of the way. And just don't get sucked in because, you know, you're going to have tough days. You're going to have people around you who don't believe in you. And you just, you just can't get sucked in. That's the, that's the only way that I can really say it. Um, and the second one is, is sort of to counter that is to really, really talk to yourself like an absolute champion. And you might feel silly doing this at first, but you know, when you wake up in the morning, this is what I do. I have affirmations and I just, you know, you really need to, sorry, I got a mozzie there, really need to talk to yourself like a champion. Like talk to yourself like you were talking to your kids before they're playing, you know, uh, what their sport or like a coach would talk to a winning championship team, right? So the language that you're using when you're talking to yourself, you know, treat yourself like the champion that you are and talk to yourself like the champion that you are, you know, dig into that greatness that you have. And, you know, harness that language and use it to your advantage. And the third thing coming to mind is to really just celebrate your wins. You know, even the smallest, tiniest win that you're having on your journey. You know, this is something I've learned from one of my mentors. You got to celebrate it. You know, go out for dinner. Do something nice for yourself. Go shopping. You know, give yourself a pat on the back. You know, whenever I finish really hard workout in the gym, I, I, I literally, I physically force myself to pat myself on the back because you know I just I need to take a good notice of the fact that I'm proud of myself that that I completed something that I consider to be really hard so just celebrate the wins you know harness your family do something fun give yourself a pat on the back hope you found this useful if you did please like and share and come see me on christineburke.net